is going to walk us through how to build a two-sided marketplace using Softer and Airtable. Here on Softer, we're going to use the template for the two-sided marketplace. So go to Explore and Templates, come down to Marketplaces, and today we're going to walk through the co.live template. So go ahead and log in or sign up for Softer, and we will get used to using this template. Once you're logged into Softer, you can go ahead and select the template from the top here. Remember, it's co.live. If you don't see it, you can always hit view more and search for it that way. So go ahead and hit select. This is the template that we will be duplicating. But before we do that, let's take a look at our Airtable base that powers all of the data behind this particular template. So go ahead and hit view Airtable base. From here, you can see that this Airtable base corresponds to the template in Softer. There are tables for apartments, hosts, and users. For now, I'm going to close it, and we're going to come back here to our main Softer screen and hit Use Template. Once you have duplicated this template into your own space, it should come in looking like this. The first thing we're going to do is come over to the left-hand side and hit Settings, and go to General. Here's where we're going to rename the application. This might be something very generically named right now. I've gone ahead and called mine Two-Sided Marketplace and set up my subdomain. You can also add your favicon here or wait to do that at a later point. Whenever you've made all of your adjustments, just go ahead and hit Save. Now that we have our general settings set up renaming this, we're going to come down to User Groups and Permissions. We're going to click on User Groups. You'll see this template comes with three user groups already created in it. So we can go ahead and take a look at one of them. Just start with guests. And you'll be able to see the logic that's already set up here for us. So you can make any adjustments you wanted here. You can rename this. Uh, you can have any or all. And then you can change it to be logged in or if it's a subscription, depending on what your marketplace is and, and how you're offering out this information and then adjust this uh, to be the, the proper terminology. So we want to check this user group. So we'll just hit cancel and come over to our Airtable template. Here in our Airtable template, we'll see that we have this tab users and here's where our user type is. So we have this nice user type called guest and the rest of these are all called host. This is what this user type field is what will drive that user type setting. So we'll come back over to Softer. So you can see these user groups are driven off that Airtable information. So you'll want to be sure that those correspond. Now, if you need to add a user group, simply click at the bottom and go ahead and create your user group from here. These user groups will be used to set up different display visibilities, including for these headers, as you can see, visible to guests, visible to hosts. So these user groups need to be set up from the beginning so that you can set up the security and visibility features as you continue to adjust and build out your site. Now that we have our user groups set up, you can look through the additional information here. But for now, we're going to just work at our theme. This is where we'll set our default default typography for our heading, our body colors and fonts, and the weights. This will also be where we set the buttons and why the button appears differently than that blue. Go ahead and work down through this, clicking on the little dots to adjust the color. If you hit show color, this is how it looks for me. You can click through. Uh, depending on the device you're using, this might appear differently. So go ahead and make those adjustments and again, hit save as you work on through. Here on the pages, we can see that this particular template comes with 12 pages. We're here on the home screen, and if this home page isn't at the top, you can drag any page around by grabbing those handlebars and just moving it up or down. So I've made a, a few arrangements here that make sense for me. You could rearrange it however you would like. A few things to note out here in the pages. You can adjust any of the page settings by clicking on the three dots and clicking settings. Here, similar to the overall site settings, you can set up different URLs, SEO, social, and most importantly for this tutorial, visibility. So when it comes to visibility, you can define which users and user groups have access to these pages. So if we click out of the home page, you'll see that some of these have a lock on them. And if we look at the settings and visibility for those lock, it's locked into logged on users. Now you can additionally add the user groups here. 
uh, that we have already created in the previous step. So if you needed this to be logged in hosts, for example, you would go ahead and just add that user group here so that it's only visible to hosts. Once you've made the adjustments on the pages and page settings, feel free to delete out any that don't make sense for the two-sided marketplace that you're building, but it's important to keep in mind that you need a sign in, a sign up, you'll need a way to access account settings, and some of these detail screens like host profile and listing details you might need depending on the marketplace, but they also might not be relevant. So you're gonna wanna walk through this template and have a good understanding of what the marketplace is that you're building before you go deleting too much information. We can always add in new pages if we need to, but if you need to delete one, just click on the three dots, hit settings, click on general, and you delete page here. So you can also disable the page if you're not quite sure to give you a good idea of what the site might look like, and then just come back when you're all done with your builds and delete the pages. So once you've gone through all of these different pages, we're ready to start here at our home screen and walk through how you might adjust all of them and how to build out this two-sided marketplace.